FBW fans to the main event here at FBW Karma 2021. This is the 30 minute Iron Man match for both the FBW DDR title and the FBW Undisputed title. But here comes the reigning and defending current DDR champion, Chris. Dynamite, he won the title when he defeated his former unwelcome sidekick Ethan Hawks last month in a grudge match, last man standing match. But will Chris Dynamite's first reign as King of the Art champion be cut short or will he become the first ever undisputed king here in FBW? Because earlier in the night, Matthew Jacobs, the owner, he was talking to some interviewers and he has said that if this match is a tie by the end of the 30 minutes, this match will be going into sudden death. So we are going to be crowning a new undisputed king here tonight. But another thing that was announced was the winner of this match will be getting the new FBW Pro Authentic Stainless Steel Real Leather Pro title when it comes in about next month. But here is the reigning and defending current FBW Undisputed Champion, Anthony Aries. He won the title all the way back in January when he defeated Chris Dynamite and Jay Swervo in a ladder match, starting his fourth Undisputed title reign. And Aries saying that that's the title that matters but the title that matters will be coming in hopefully by next month. But till the time being, we are going to be crowning a undisputed king. But let's get the timer started. And Chris Dynamite right off the bat with the Dragon's Claw taking down Anthony Aries. This match, 30 minutes long. The one with the most pinfalls or submissions by the end of the time limit will be the winner and the new king of the yard and undisputed champion the undisputed king and Anthony Aries with a backdrop suplex to Chris Dynamite now these men have to take it easy they cannot drain their stamina this match has just started but we are going to see who will be able to run the gauntlet who whose gas tank is going to be still full and will stay full because if you get tired early on, you are screwed for the whole match. This has been a back and forth match. Now Chris Dynamite on the offense. Both titles were put on the line. Because both men wants to prove who is the better man. Like Chris Dynamite has been saying, two lions, one den. And there's only room for one lion. But what's this? And a suicide dive! Look at that replay, a suicide dive. Chris Dynamite didn't get a nice landing, but Chris Dynamite is back up. What is this? And he drives Anthony Aries right into the ring post. And he slams him down on the outside of the ring. Chris Dynamite is really using a lot of energy right now. I don't know if this is a smart idea. Me. This match all about proving who is the best. But Anthony Aries with the leather strap. Hitting Chris Dynamite. And again, just the leather smacking off the skin. And now choking him. Chris Dynamite claims to be the best man to use a strap in FBW. Using a 2-1 and one record out of the three FBW strap matches in FBW history. But right now, Anthony Aries is taking it to Chris Dynamite with that strap. And then he throws Chris Dynamite back into the ring. Now we've seen a lot of high impact action and we haven't even been in this match that long. These two men have to save their stamina because if you run out of stamina early on in this match, you are screwed for the rest of this match because this match will not end before the 30 minute timer. And Anthony Aries hits Chris Dynamite in the midsection with that chair. What's Anthony Aries doing here? And another shot to the midsection. And now he's choking him. Now this is a great strategy by Anthony Aries because if you damage the neck and the chest, it becomes harder to breathe and it will drain your stamina and your endurance. Good strategy by Anthony Aries and both men are very smart wrestlers and they know each other 
very, very well. Both men starting FBW back in 2012. And a deal breaker to Anthony Arias. The deal breaker is Chris Dynamite's finishing move. But like I was saying, put up pinfall. Man, one, two. And a kick up, but like I was saying, before there was a pinfall, both men started FBW together back in December of 2012. Both men know each other very, very well, boys. What's this? And Anthony Aries couldn't get the hold on. And now he's in a choke hold, in a coquina clutch like maneuver. But Anthony Aries didn't want to use too much energy, but it backfired on him. He couldn't get the hold. Boy, this is trying again. And he's up. Are we looking at a fireman's carry slam? And a fireman's carry slam. He calls that the introduction slam. Let's get a replay. Anthony Aries showing off his strength, taking Chris Dynamite down now, stomping him to the chest, using that strategy. One, two, three. And we actually got a first pinfall already. Anthony Aries has one pinfall, and Chris Dynamite has zero. It is one to zero right now. If Anthony Aries keeps this lead for the rest of the match, Anthony Aries will win this match. Anthony Aries going after the legs of Chris Dynamite. And then he's getting out of the ring. So far, one point for Anthony Aries. Aries has that bat. What's, what is he going to be doing here? He's back into the ring. And right to the back of the head. Right to the back. And now choking him again. Anthony Aries is really trying to damage Chris's dynamite's breathing techniques. What is this? He's picking him up. And a spine buster. One, two, three. And Chris Dynamite has scored a point for himself. It is now one to one. We are tied. Uh, both men stay tied for the remaining time limit of this match. Like FBW owner Matthew Jacobs told interviewers earlier today, we will be going into sudden death. We will be crowning a new undisputed king. And we will be crowning a new champion to get the new title coming in next month. But uppercuts to Anthony Aries in the corner. Chris Dynamite is really taking it to Anthony Aries. Both men wanting to prove to each other and to the FPW universe that they are the best. It's making them do whatever it takes, making them do whatever and anything. Chris Dynamite picking up Anthony Aries and a knee to the chest. And a kick to the midsection. Chris Dynamite starting to use Anthony Aries' technique that he was doing on earlier in the match and that was going after the midsection. And he throws Anthony Aries into the corner. And a big boop of Chris Dynamite, he's stuck, he's stuck. And Anthony Aries, he got some up. And another backdrop slam. So Chris Dynamite. As you guys saw earlier, Chris Dynamite was Pondering to the fans. And yes, we have a live fans here. We have a live audience here for the first time in almost two years. But what did Anthony Aries just grab from underneath the ring? What is this? Let's get a close up. Oh no. Those are some poppets. Those are some poppets. What is Anthony Aries planning on doing with this? Both men want to tear each other apart to prove that they are the best. Here in FBW. And a punch right across the head. And there he's grabbing those poppets. What is he planning on doing here? And he threw them right to the chest. And they exploded. They exploded on Chris Dynamite's chest. This could be another point for Anthony Aries. One, two. And a kick out. Let's get a replay with the audio heightened so you guys can hear. They just exploded on the chest of Chris Dynamite. His chest has to be burning right now. Stinging in pain. 
both men. There is no respect between both men. They do not like each other, even though they grew up together, even though they started this empire together. And chops to the chest of Anthony Aries. Right over his logo. New merch show. Check out the merch store, FBW. Shop.com. Tpublic.com slash user slash FBW Wrestling. Anthony Aries, DDT, Chris Dynamite. Reversing that spear in the corner. Chris Dynamite. And Anthony Aries now on the outside of the ring. What is what is Anthony Aries doing here? And he got some in an arm bar. He got some in the arm bar. Now, now these, this is balls come anywhere anything goes because we must have a winner we must crown a champion but now chris dynamite the self-proclaimed best man to use a strap in fbw has the strap and right off the back right off the back again you can hear the leather bouncing off the skin and right to the chest and again right off the chest and again And a spear, and oh my god, did you see the way that Anthony Aries' head ricocheted and whiplashed off of the rope? Let's get a slow mode replay when we can. Hold up, this is covered. One, two. How did Anthony Aries kick out? That must have been instant. Look at that. His head just whiplashed off the bottom rope. I don't think Anthony Aries knows where he is. He could possibly have a concussion. And a stomp to the chest. Both men favoring each other's chest and neck. Because, like I said earlier, you take out the chest, the lungs, the neck. Breathing becomes harder. And your endurance and stamina is greatly affected. And if you can't run the gauntlet, if you can't have a full gas tank for this match, you will lose. And I think both men know that. But Anthony Aries out of both men is the only one to have ever competed in an Iron Man match. What is this? And he took Chris Dynamite down. What is he trying to do here? Van Aries, he's the only man to compete in an Iron Man match out of the two. Chris Dynamite has never went 30 minutes either in a match. But what is this? And he kicked the rope right into the chest. Both men really trying to make it where they can't breathe. Both smart wrestlers, but now he has him in a headlock. Van Aries, he competed in the Ironman match all the way back in 2015 at FBW Revolution against Eric Danger, the brother of Chris Dynamite. But now, many years later, we are here for the second Ironman match. Does Anthony Aries still have what it takes to win an Ironman match? And does Chris even have what it takes? And a backdrop to Anthony Aries. But we are going to find out who has what it takes. Who's going to have enough gas in the tank to win this match. So far it's been back and forth. Chris Dynamite having a little more control in this match. But both men know each other very, very well. But Chris Dynamite has a chair. What is Chris Dynamite planning on doing here? And he hits Anthony Aries with that bat. Who will be walking into FBW Showdown, the Undisputed King. We are going to find out tonight. And he's just beating him with that bat. Both men do not like each other. They are not afraid to hurt each other. Chris on my bleeding of the finger. And he's trying to make ALM. Anthony Aries taste it. And there he's getting out of it. And he threw that chair right at Chris Dynamite. Chris Dynamite just tried making Anthony Aries taste his blood and now choking him in the corner. Choking Chris Dynamite. And a baseball slide right into the midsection of Chris Dynamite in the corner. And there he now has that strap again. Huh? And he's choking him. Yeah. He's choking him with 
the assist of the ring post. Both men are trying to kill each other here tonight. Like I said earlier, the motivation of trying to prove you are the best will make a man do anything and everything. And a chair to Chris Dynamite. And there he's took a little too long to get into the ring. And now he's paying the price as Chris Dynamite is using that chair. The chair that Anthony Aries brought into the ring against him. Dynamite. He is grabbing both titles. Is this a sight we are going to be seeing at the end of this match? Are we going to be seeing Chris Dynamite as the undisputed king? Both men have been having this goal, but Anthony Aries, he's been having this goal longer. He's been having the goal of undisputed king ever since 2020. But what is this? What is Anthony Aries doing? And he threw sand. He threw sand in the eyes of Chris Dynamite. He's blinded and a spear. And he speared Chris Dynamite. He blinded Chris Dynamite with the sand and then speared Chris Dynamite. It's those small, small tactics that win you a match. What is this? What is he setting him up for? And a super kick to the chest. And a super kick to the chest again. Both men really favoriting the chest and the neck of each other. They are evenly matched in skill. And a punch right to the head. Forearm. What is this? And another dragon claw taken down Anthony Aries. Now what is Chris Dynamite doing? Looks like he's trying to find something. What is the Punisher trying to find? Oh no. The Punisher, Chris Dynamite, is looking to punish Anthony Aries with a table. Look how big that piece of plywood is. This does not look good for Anthony Aries. Anthony Aries, he is down and out, barely moving after that dragon call that Chris Dynamite hit on Anthony Aries not that long ago. Chris Dynamite setting up a table. This is not good. Who is going to be put through this table? Chris Dynamite complaining that he has to deal with Anthony Aries and he had to deal with them for almost 10 years. Chris Dynamite looking to end their feud here tonight. Anthony still has barely moved. Chris Dynamite, he has that table basically set up. Anthony Aries, he better get up. He better, he better recuperate pretty quick. Or this can be the end for Anthony Aries in this match. If he gets put through this table. Chris Dynamite now has the table set up. Took him a little bit because of his stamina. And Anthony Aries fighting back. And his head bounces off the piece of plywood. Anthony Aries, he is now in control. And there he's looking to put Chris Dynamite through the table. Chris Dynamite is now on the table. But what is Anthony Aries doing? He has him laid out on that table. And Anthony Aries, he's grabbing a ladder. Shades of Genesis 2021. When Anthony Aries put Chris Dynamite through a table to win his fourth undisputed title. And he looks to put Chris Dynamite through a table again to retain his fourth undisputed title. Remember that shed? You can't do it. And an elbow drop through the table. And an elbow drop off the table. 
Two. And Chris Dynamite managed to kick out. Let's get a replay of this. Anthony's just driving Chris Dynamite through the table. Chris Dynamite saying, thinking that Anthony Aries was too scared to jump off the ladder because all the way back on an episode of Showdown in 2019, Anthony Aries didn't jump off the shed when he was planning on, on doing it onto Chris Dynamite. But Anthony Aries was not scared tonight. He jumped off the ladder and he put Chris Dynamite through the table. But Chris Dynamite somehow found the will, the energy, the stamina, the power to kick out of that. And there he's just waiting in the ring, chilling in the ring, waiting for Chris Dynamite to come. Now, I don't know if this is a good idea because this is giving time to Chris Dynamite to, you know, recover. But both men are back in the ring. And both men collar and elbow lock up. Chris Dynamite, he has no stamina. He's barely there. He barely is holding on in this collar and elbow lock up. Looks like Anthony has got the better of that exchange. Knocking Chris Dynamite down in a clothesline into the corner. And a double clothesline. Both men thinking the same thing. And both men are down and out in the middle of the the ring this has been a back and forth action packed iron man match both men trying to prove that they are the best and will and they want to both become the undisputed king but we will have an undisputed king who would it be though and a punch right across the jaw and a headbutt both men trading blows and a punch and a forearm and another headbutt. Both men trading blows, trying to one up each other with every strike. And a standing headbutt. What is Anthony Aries doing here? And a knee right to the chest. And a double wrist lock knee right to the side of the head. Chris Dynamite, he is out. I don't think Anthony Aries knows where he is. Where he is. I think the stamina loss and this long match is finally taking its toll on Anthony Aries. He just looked dazed. He looked out of it. But now he has Chris Dynamite into a headlock. You know, being this long in a match in this type of heat, because it's also hot today, a simple headlock can do so much damage. And I think Aries is in a headlock. The weather, it's hot. They are going 30 minutes. Both men hasn't gone 30 minutes in a very long time. Chris Dynamite has never. So all this is taking a toll. But we will be crowning a champion here tonight. And another collar and elbow lockup. Both men are drained, but they want to fight. They want to prove that they are the best. What's Anthony is doing here? He's he has him in an arm bar. He has him in an arm bar and a headlock at the same time. Very creative move by Anthony Aries, who has been exploring a new technical style here in FBW. And a roll and a running bulldog to Anthony Aries. Chris Dynamite rolling to the outside of the ring. What is Chris Dynamite planning on doing? He has the chair again. Anthony Aries rolling out to the outside with him. Hiding behind that tree and a kick right to the ch midsection of Chris Dynamite. And he punched his head right into the ring post. And a dragon's call. Where did Chris Dynamite, how did Chris Dynamite not get knocked out by that blow? And now pounding on it in the areas. Chris Dynamite grabbing that FBW sign. He is anti-FBW now because he feels that he's not welcome still, even though he is the king of the art champion. He wants, I guess, all the gold to feel welcome. What is he doing here? No, not this. This disrespect, not this. And he kicked the board right into Anthony Aries. Taking Anthony Aries out. I'm the best. 
how's that flow designed to run it? How it's designed to go 30 minutes? I am the Iron Man. Then he throws oh, Anthony Aries back w in the ring, made. but Chris Dynamite claiming he is the Iron Man. But so far, we are still tied in this Iron Man match. We are about to be crowning an undisputed king here tonight. But Anthony Aries, he grabs him and he slams him, but I don't think he got all of it. The stamina loss, the energy loss that has been draining in both competitors is really showing. And there he's got enough of that slam to take Chris Dynamite down. Both men just sitting. Both men just sitting in the ring. Trading blows again. Both men are tired. But they are still trying to go and prove that they are the best. These men will not stop until they know who's the better one. And both men do not want to the other one to be the better. What is this? They're just digging. They're digging into each other's eyes. Digging into each other's eyes. Man, oh man. The carnage in this match. And both men trading blows. Anthony Aries, some forearms. And Chris Dynamite might give some blows back, but what is this? And a reverse STO. What is this? And he has him in the Koji Clutch. He has Chris Dynamite in the Koji Clutch. We haven't seen ALM pull out the Koji Clutch in a while. Is Chris Dynamite going to tap? He has the rope. And there he's breaking up that rope break. And he has him again. He has him locked in. He's pulling tighter and tighter. Is Chris Dynamite going to tap? And Chris Dynamite tapped. Anthony Aries is back in the lead. It is two to one. Anthony Aries two and Chris Dynamite one. Chris Dynamite doesn't have much longer to gain two pinfalls to win this match. Unless they go into sudden death. But Anthony Aries, he's so far winning this match. And a knee right to the side of the head of Anthony Aries. Chris Dynamite, he needs to punish fast. He needs to get two pinfalls if he wants to win this match before the timer ends. And knees repeatedly to the head of Anthony Aries. This could be it in a cover. One, two, go! The frustration of Chris Dynamite kicking in, realizing he might lose this match. He just pinned Anthony Aries twice, and Anthony Aries kicks out twice but think about it him pinning him twice is draining the energy of Anthony Aries because Anthony Aries has to use energy to kick out and he just had to kick out repeatedly twice right up in the corner and he slams his head right on that ring post and a running big boo and Chris Dynamite is down And Anthony Aries going down again. And he has him in another, another arm bar. Anthony Aries, like I said, he's been exploring that more technical side. But Chris Dynamite just caught Anthony Aries with a knee right to the side of the head. Chris Dynamite picking up Anthony Aries. And he has him back in the corner. What is Chris Dynamite going to do? And yeah, there he's tried clotheslining him. But Chris Dynamite caught him. He caught him. And he slams him right to the ground. Now that spine buster maneuver won him his first pinfall earlier in the match. To see if uh, he's going to get another pin. But at the air he's kicks out. And at the air he knows he's in the lead. He knows that there's not much longer in this match. 
So he's using all of his will, all of his heart to kick out and stay in this match. All Anthony has to do is survive and he will win in a clothesline to Chris Dynamite. Because Anthony, he has the lead. It's two to one. Not much longer in this match. All Anthony has to do is survive. And what is this? Anthony Aries just taking a sip from his daughter's sippy cup. See, that's the toll this match has taken on both men. They are dehydrated. They have low stamina, but they got a fight and a big boot right to the side of Chris Dynamite again. Chris Dynamite rolling to the outside of the ring. What is, what is Anthony Aries doing? He's coming right back around. And a shot right to the lower back. One minute remaining. And you just heard the rap. There is one minute and a stomp to the midsection from the apron. Both men are down. The effects of this long, gruesome match is showing on both men. But there is one minute left. Anthony Aries in the lead, two to one. Chris Dynamite going into panic mode. He just he really wants to he has to get two pitfalls. He really wants to win. Can Chris Dynamite do it? If he ties, all he has to do is win in sudden death. 30 seconds remaining. There is 30 seconds remaining, and Chris Dynamite to win needs two falls. And there he's so far winning. Both men grappling for the upper hand. And there he's, he has him. He has him in a headlock. And a punch to the head. What is he going for here? Send up for a cross face. He can lock it in. And he has the cross face locked in. The timer is counting down. Is Chris Dynamite going to tap? And he taps, and it is a 3-1 lead with Anthony Aries, and Anthony Aries has won 3-1. And Anthony Aries is now the first ever undisputed king and will be receiving the new FBW undisputed title next month when it comes in. This has been a gruesome back and forth action packed match between both top dogs here in FBW. But like Chris Dynamite said, there was only one space, one room for a lion. And that man is Anthony Aries, the undisputed kid.